I'm Francine Toon, the author of Pine, a book that I describe as a feminist crime novel set in Scotland. I'm here at the Theatre Royal in Glasgow to go behind the scenes at the Scottish Opera's new production of Carmen. I'm just about to talk to the director, John Full James, who has reimagined the opera as a detective investigation. I'm fascinated by this production and I just wanted to ask you what your inspiration was in your imagining of the production through the lens of a detective investigation. I guess Carmen's a, a piece and a story which has um, been constantly reimagined. I think there was an original factual case which then was turned into a novel and then the novel was adapted into the opera, and then of course the opera has been adapted in all sorts of ways since then. The seductress in the red dress who falls in love with the bullfighter and is then killed by her lover. What we've retained there culturally is sort of a, a broken, damaged love story, but actually what's going on is, is a crime drama. This is a story about a murder, not just a murder by a civilian, but actually a murder by a policeman mm. or a, a mm. former policeman. The opera that we sort of think we know, I would have described it as a love story if someone had asked me and interrogate it as actually a kind of crime story. We've got a murder at the end, but also a lot of illegal activity that goes on throughout. Was that kind of your intention? Well, I think in a way, Jose, the murderer, wants you to think of it as a love story. Mm. You know, that's the argument which he tries to make in the novel to the uh, detective. Not only was he moved by his feelings in his relationship with Carmen, but also, in the end, he wasn't responsible for his actions because mm. she, a witch, uh, put mm. a spell on him. But all of that is from his perspective. Mm. And all of that is from the male perspective, mm. our detective is female. Mm. And that feels like a very specific choice, not only in the context of this material, but also in relationship to detective stories in general. It yeah. seems to me that detectives began in the, is it the 19th century, as, as sort of detective novels emerged, but they tended to be men. But mm. then something happened and there was an explosion of writing with female detectives. People have often said that there's something about the female detective that appeals to female readers and it's really right. sort of a introduction of the female gaze and there's something about a female detective that's different from a male detective almost like um, a version of the reader or the viewer to kind of step in and ask questions you know what's going on here is how I see it. G completely so so this is a piece which is exploring toxic male cultures, mm. whether that's in the, in the police force or mm. in um, the world around the bullring. Mm -hmm. um, and having a female detective looking at those worlds is an outside perspective in a way that having a male detective wouldn't be. Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoy um, seeing the show later on. Absolutely, yeah, I can't wait, honestly. <laughs> So we've made it to the interval. We made it to the interval, and that was just such an incredible first and second act. Um, I just loved having spoken to you, really seeing that all come alive on stage. Um, the way that uh, Don Jose's interrogation scenes kind of effortlessly kind of meld with the, the, the opera itself. Um, and that feeling of going back and forth in time. Each piece of evidence just adds some depth and, as you say, kind of grounds it and, and sort of builds the world, I suppose, of, of the opera. Today has been so wonderful for me to see how crime writing has come together with opera in ways that I didn't expect and has definitely made me want to um, investigate opera further and go and see more performances. Mm -hmm.